I feel like a lion right now. I mean, there are girls that put hair extensions to get this, and then there's me. <laughs> Welcome to where gift cards come to die. I really wish I had, like, actually knew how to put, like, a whole Dan is not on fire moment, but I don't, so. Basically, a statistic showed that a, several thousand gift cards from Walmart were not used, and I find that awful. They were just thrown out, so there's just a certain amount of funds donated to the Walmart store fund. <laughs> No. This video is not that kind of video. This video is a gift card haul. For my birthday, I received several gift cards, uh, like Starbucks and Amazon. Yeah. So I ordered some books and makeup. First of all, oh, Hollow City, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, book two. Bonitas beautiful book. Read it before. Um, a very bad thing. <laughs> a very bad thing happened when I borrowed it from the library. Um, trolls stole it or something. Something happened where the book just disappeared out of my life so I got to pay the library 16 bucks to 16 to 17 dollars for this book. It was a hardback course, so had to pay him more. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant book, Ransom Riggs. That has, I really like what he does, actually, very much. Uh, the photography is amazing. Um, just, just really good. Really good. Really good. And he did a book about, uh, his photographs. I wanted to get that, but it's like twice as much as his average books, and it has all these pictures in it. So just get these. There's a story in it too. Um, but Ransom Riggs, you know what you're doing. I'm excited for your next book. This is stuck in it. The kid looks completely horrified. <laughs> and completely horrifying. I just got it to continue the collection. My only tiff about this is the other book I have is a paperback. This is a hardback, which I've said before. Um, so I have the first novel paperback, second novel hardback. I'll probably get the third novel, and the hardback will probably come out first. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna start coming out with box sets, talking about this kid. I forget what he's even called. What's What's the kid's name? Jacob. His name is Jacob. Jacob Portman. It's about Jacob Portman. Woo! Read it. Next thing I got um, came with that book. Why they didn't? I don't. I don't know how Amazon works when it comes to packaging things together. I got two items packaged together, the book and the uh, makeup thing. I'm wearing on my face. This is e.l.f. Mineral Foundation with the SPF of 15. It has titanium dioxide and zinc, and it suits my skin tone. That's all I have to say. It works really well. Um, the coverage is slightly on the light side, but I use concealer anyway, and I blend it out, so I think the coverage is really good. Actually, um, some people said that it wasn't that great. I think it's buildable. My only complaint about this, this is 0.1 ounces, <laughs> and it's the size of my hand, though I've used it about four times. It still looks like it has a crap ton of product in it, so... I am not sure. My and to get it out, you just tap it into the lid and then use my eco tool brush to get it out. And then um, I have to keep doing that. I don't know. Um, I don't want to open it because I shook it up a lot earlier. Um, it is 2.84 grams. Yep. It 
it helps prevent sunburns and it says to apply 15 to 20 minutes before sun exposure and it says for external use only yeah so don't do any don't eat it <laughs> next thing that came in the mail is luscious liquid lipstick by elf in the shade ruby slippers at least that's what I think it's called ruby slipper yeah I got this because there's a huge liquid to matte fad going on and I like the mega stay lip stains or whatever you call it lip color that wet n wild puts out and I wanted to find the elf version to be honest not exactly what I wanted um, the liquid mega stay um, or mega last or whatever you want to call it um, it stays on better and it semi mattifies on your lips and this on the other hand is more like a lip gloss I will not be repurchasing this because I'm not a lip gloss person the color is beautiful um, I tried mattifying it uh, with a translucent powder and I just turned the color of my natural lips so ah, no so it was a it was a good idea this is more expensive than the Mega Stay or Mega Last Lip Stuff by Wet n Wild. And they're both cruelty free and vegan. Don't know what to say about that. Kinda ticks me off, actually. Next thing that came in the mail, due to my idea of reading 50 books this year, and I decided I wanted to actually count the amount of books I read in a year. Um, I have done this before, and I, I think I was three short of 50 when I counted it, and that was not counting textbook reading and all this other stuff, and listening to audiobooks that I do very often. So far, I am up to 21 books, but to keep me going, I purchased this. This is The Book Thief by Zuzak, <laughs> probably butchered that name, um, and it's, I watched the movie. I think I'd really like the book, to be honest. I'm really excited to see what happens next because um, what I like to actually understand what's going on in the book. Um, it's about a little girl who uh, somebody died, and they are at the gravesite while like, the person's being buried. Anyhow. She picks up a book called the, 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 the Grave Digger's Handbook, and it's really good, and I'm kind of, her name's Liesl, and she's trying to learn to read while she reads the Grave Digger's Handbook, so I'm excited, I'm excited, it just sounds like something I would do, steal books and give them back. <laughs> That would probably be pretty funny, actually. Now it takes place in Nazi Germany and um, talks about during the war times and the bombing and all this stuff. So there's like little things and about it, and then there's like a book burning. Read it. It's good. I still can't believe I haven't read it until like now. <sighs> the very last thing I got in the mail, which is a UK product, I did not know that when I ordered it. That's why it took the longest to get here. I ordered it two weeks ago. Pretty good timing if you're ordering from the UK. I ordered Sleek Makeup Blush. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't own blush. I'm wearing it today. I don't know how to apply blush so I just use it as contouring. I'm sorry if you're a makeup person. <laughs> I, somebody explained it to me. You contour and then you apply blush and then you apply highlight. And I'm like, it was described as a dusty rose shade, and then um, it looks very sparkly on the inside. But now that I've used it, I know that it's really not that sparkly when you put it on. I mean, like there's some sparkle, but it's pretty matte compared to how shimmery it looks. This is in the shade Antique. And sleek, from what I understand, it is 
want to say it's cruelty free and vegan don't quote me on that um there's a lot of youtubers i know that say sleek is very like has good morals and they're cruelty free and vegan people and they buy um sleek products but i don't know i got it i like it i've never really properly owned a blush that i actually like so i really like this i eh. this is like a dusty rose pink so it's not like pink pink or red pink it's just like this grayish pink color and I'm okay with that. I can live with Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose is nice. So this is where gift cards come to die. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. That would be lovely. And you can even like it. In the words of Dodie, you like it. If you like it, if you like. <sighs> Dodie. I wish I was friends with you. I think you'd be a very interesting person to be friends with. Um, I'm just in my corner of YouTube over here. Bye! Mm.